This presentation is going to discuss installing a freestanding wine cooler into a built-in cabinet and adding the air circulation needed. Many built-in wine coolers are very expensive and freestanding wine coolers are much less expensive but cannot be put into the cabinet because they need the free airflow. So my son and I decided to tackle this project together. Please take a look. In choosing the wine cooler, we wanted to replace an aging uh, trash compactor that was in the cabinet without modifying the cabinet. We chose this Edge Star model. It was highly rated on Amazon and cost $269. It had two temperature zones, one for red wine, one for white. It seems to work fine. There are two basic cooling methods for the wine coolers. There's an old pump style, which has moving parts and rather uh, noisy. And then there's the thermoelectric coolers. The ones with the thermoelectric cooler have a cold side and hot side. The hot side is ventilated out the back. The cold side is into the refrigerator itself. But the heat must be removed from the hot side. The basic issue with putting a freestanding wine cooler into the cabinet is the lack of air movement. When it's freestanding outside, the air moves by. There's two fans in this case in the system. Once placed in the cabinet, that heated air recirculates. You will not get cool wine in this case, and it will shorten the life of the unit. So you must exhaust that air from behind the unit. This is a picture of the back of the refrigerator with the rear removed. Note that removing the rear of the wine cooler and this whole uh, basic series will probably void the warranty of your wine cooler, so you need to consider this before beginning. There are two thermoelectric coolers, one for each zone in the refrigerator. If you have a single zone refrigerator, then there's a single thermoelectric cooler. You can see the heat sinks on the back where the air from the fan flows over and exhausts that hot air. Then, of course, the other side is inside the refrigerator where the cool portion of the thermoelectric is. We need to promote free airflow from behind the wine cooler to exhaust the warm air. We chose allowing a gap on top of the wine cooler below the cabinet to exhaust this air. Also, you'll notice on the sides, we've left about a one inch gap on either side. We examined numerous methods to be able to exhaust the air from behind the wine cooler. My son came up with the idea of using one of the uh, dryer vents that's sold at Home Depot or Lowe's. It cost us about $18. We only needed half of the dryer vent, uh, but it's very thin and worked quite well. We purchased a 12 volt 4 inch computer fan from our local computer store, Micro Center. It was about $5. It runs at 950 RPMs, and the key to this is it's quiet. It's a fairly low RPM motor. Um, the cubic feet per minute is plenty to exhaust the uh, hot air from behind the wine cooler. We removed the round portion of the vent pipe and bolted the 4 inch fan uh, onto this dryer tube and drilled four holes to do the mounting. Fortunately, this is not the best picture due to the reflection, but you can see the dryer vent tube laying on top of the wine cooler with the fan in the back facing down. We put the fan in a direction where it pulls the air away from the back of the wine cooler and blows it out the front. Uh, we felt this was the most efficient way. And the uh, tube just simply lays on top of the wine cooler. We didn't bolt it or mount it hard to it. This is probably the most complex portion of this project, and there's easier ways to do it, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, we wanted a way that the refrigerator, when it would turn off, it would also turn off the exhaust fan. And when the refrigerator turns on, it turns on the exhaust fan. If you don't want to mess with this, uh, which I wouldn't blame you, is just simply get a power supply, let the exhaust fan run all of the time, and uh, plug the separate power supply directly into the fan. In this case, we found a plug that was available on the printed circuit board of the refrigerator that supplied 12 volts when the refrigerator's running. We connected that directly into the little computer fan.
You can see here the wine cooler installed into the cabinet, the dryer air duct on top. The fan in this case is turned on, air is blowing out. It blows a little bit warm, we left it on for a few hours, um, but it's not hot, which is the key. And then air circulates in from the sides, gets sucked up through the fan, blown out the front. Um, inside the wine cooler was as cold as the temperatures indicate, so it was quite a success. This shows the finished product. So we decided to put a grill over the top and to hide the uh, air ducting. We did not um, put anything on the sides of the refrigerator. You could have run the, the grill down the sides if you wanted, but for us it was fine. It's just black. The air gently comes out through that grill. Uh, the grill was a little bit difficult to find, one that was uh, reasonably expensive, inexpensive and um, available in a size that was appropriate. But what we found was the section of Home Depot, in this case, that handles screen doors, uh, tends to have protective nets for, I assume, children pushing on the screen. So this piece was sold in roughly a two foot by one foot section, and I think it was about $10. That's all. Thank you very much.